Ladies and gents, it is the season for the Fest beer. And you drew me out with this one, I'll tell you what. Looking forward to checking out what new Fest beers came out this year. So this one is by Crystal Lake Brewing, canned 8822, German style Oktoberfest lager, and 5.8% ABV. We're out in the woods, so we're not about to be using glasses. That beer just exploded all over the place. Tee hee hee. Mmm. Malty, sweet. There's almost a rye note to the nose on this one. I don't think it's supposed to have rye, but I'm getting a little bit of that rye bite to it. Let's see how it tastes. Prost, everyone. I forgot how to say that. Prost, everyone. Super foamy. <laughs> Lots of foam. All right, so this one, I'm getting um, actually very little sweetness at all. It comes across bitter, bitter, and then uh, almost a little bit of tart to the flavor. It's unusual. I did not expect that flavor from it. You still taste malts, but there is no sweetness to speak of whatsoever on this beer. Hmm. That being said, it is really refreshing out on a nice warm fall day, so I'm enjoying that a lot. Crystal Lake, nice work. It's too bad I only have one Oktoberfest beer. This one's fun. This is Oktoberfest from Sketchbook Brewing Company. Five, four ABV, pint can. Calling it a uh, Marzen, for sure. And let's dive right in, shall we? Gotta keep an eye out for the other Oktoberfest fairy hunters. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This one has a clean green scent at the front, followed by the malt and sweetness on the nose. A little bit of toffee and spun sugar. Just on the scent though, let's see how it tastes. Sketchbook, cheers everyone. Mm. This one has that lingering sweetness, has almost, when I say syrup, I don't want people to think thick and overly sweet. That's not where I'm going. It just has a thicker mouthfeel. It's a little bit bigger on how it takes to the mouth. Um, there is a long lasting sweetness. I'm still breathing it. But the beginning is very bright. A little bit of hop at the beginning or uh, something that's, you know, it, it shines a light and then it softly sets you into bed. That's a really pretty one. I wonder if there are any more around here. <laughs> All right, beer number three. This is from Pollyanna Brewing Company in Lamont, Illinois. Fruhoff Oktoberfest Lager, 5.4% ABV, uh, 23 IBUs. Yeah, nice. All these seem to be sitting in that same general level of alcoholism in the 5% range. Let's see how it smells. Mmm, very gentle on the nose, barely there at least compared to the other ones so far. Um, there is a malt character, but that's really all I'm getting. I'm not getting any of the other things that you associate with an Oktoberfest. Diving in. Cheers, everyone. Very crisp, very fresh, very bright flavor. Uh, this one is definitely a thirst quenching, but also making you want to dive back in. It has a drying effect on the end. Uh, not 
there is a sweetness, but it's very, very slight. Um, that's pretty nice. I hadn't tried Pollyanna's before, so that was very exciting for me. Hmm. Nice work. There's lots of beer in this in these woods here. All right, our next one is from Around the Bend Beer Company. I have only had one or two of their other beers, but both of them I was completely blown away by, so I'm super excited about this one. This is their October Fiesta. October Fiesta, Mars and Lager with Pasilla, Chili, and Espazote. Espazote? Sounds good. Espazote. Um, so this one is a collision of cultures within this uh, span of one month. Two of the world's greatest festivals take place each year. Oktoberfest in Munich and the Day of the Dead um, in Oksa Oksaka. Yeah, Day of the Dead. <laughs> so they mixed uh, Mars and Lager with uh, chilies and Episote. I don't know what that is. It says herbaceous quality. I'm kind of excited. So this it might one's... be spicy? It might be. I don't know. I mean, chilies, I mean, if it's poblano, it's not going to be spicy. If it's habanero, it will. So who knows? I'm, I'm intrigued to see how this one goes, though. Oh, that's a different smell. You do get a bit of that Marzen maltiness. And I'm smelling more like poblano pepper mm. rather than a spicy one. Now, I've been surprised by that before, so don't, you know, <laughs> who knows, but there's something else, like a grass, grassiness or a, a green scent. I'm really excited to try this. Cheers, everyone. Prost. Okay, that one startled me a little. All right, it started straight up Marzen, like several of the others. And then this chili just punched. Now it's not spicy. It tastes like chili peppers, like uh, not sweet either, just, you know, the taste of like poblano peppers. Um, you get that. Then there's a spice quality at the back. That is what gives a little bit of heat. That is so crazy and fun. It's an entire epic journey in one can. And we're ordering more of these. <laughs> For sure. That's really interesting. Uh, I wonder if there are any more beers around here. Ooh. Aries Marzen Oktoberfest Lager. Conceived under the fiery sign of the ram, then cleared all season for Oktoberfest celebration. Let's see, this one's 5.3% ABV, 28 IBUs. And where is this located? Oh, this is from Lincoln, Nebraska, actually. Oh, we got a Lincoln, Nebraska in there. Ah, let's see. extremely gentle on the nose. In fact, I would say this is the gentlest so far, as far as the scent. But it has a sugar quality to the nose. Um, this one smells like it's going to be on the sweeter side of the Martzens. So, all right, let's see how it tastes. Cheers. And again, it tricked me. It's not crazy sweet. It's actually not the sweetest I've had so far. Uh, this one's a middle of the road sweetness, but the malt, you taste the roast on the malt. I definitely get that, that 
roasted flavor, like toast almost. Hmm. Mm. Nutty too, or no? No, not nutty. It's definitely like a toasted flavor with a little bit of sugar, gentle. I like that, that's a really nice blend and very, very smooth and drinkable, straight through. Now I gotta ask, out of those five, which one is your favorite? So out of the five, five would be the Crystal Lake Oktoberfest. They, they, it just had a little more bite than I usually like. Um, that one didn't overtake the others. It's quite good on its own, but yeah. When you say bite, do you mean like a IPA bite? It's not hoppy, it's just right. very, very dry. Okay. And no sweetness at all. And I like my Marzins to have just a hint of sweet, like I expect them to. That one didn't. Number four is gonna be Pollyanna. Again, super dry finish. I, I like my fall beers to just be a little more, a little less demanding is all. And not that that's a bad thing. I do enjoy a dry, a dry finish beer on occasion. But for my, for my Oktoberfest, I lean towards the slightly gentler, the smooth ending ones. Number three is actually the Aries Martzen. This one from Lincoln, Nebraska. This would be number three on the list. Uh, then it would be, number two is gonna be the Around the Bend October Fiesta. That, I had never tasted anything like that in my life and it amazed me. So that one definitely jumped up to number two. And my number one is actually going to be the Sketchbook Oktoberfest. With that one, it had that sweet, smooth pillow of Oktoberfest Mar Martzen malty sweetness. And I, I just was really happy in that space. So that one's gonna win of the five for me. It looks like my little helper has brought me the sketchbook, which I said was my favorite so far, and Weihenstefaner, Weihenstefaner, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry, I don't speak German, uh, but it is, they claim to be the world's oldest brewery since, um, brewed in Bavaria, Germany since 1040, and this is their fest beer. Um, so the OG. Yeah, it's the OG Oktoberfest. Uh, we're gonna compare the two. All right. All right. I'm jumping right into this one. Let's see how it smells. Oh, sweet corn. Sponge sugar, malts, toffee. I got a lot of scents off of this one right off the bat. That was a big scent right up the nose. Diving in. Prost. Hmm. So, this has that sweetness, that pillow that I was talking about with the sketchbook, but this one has a very, very light mouthfeel. It has the mouthfeel of a macro, but it has all the flavor of what I tasted over here. All those flavors, that sweetness, the spun candy sugar, the um, maltiness, the toffee, the caramel, all there, but with a lighter feel. So you could probably pack away a few more of these. What is the ABV on this guy? 5.8. So this is actually one of the highest in the series we did here. Sweetness with the light mouth mouthfeel and a teensy bit of dry finish. Sweetness with a medium mouthfeel and a wet finish. Um, as far as these two go, the actual flavor profile is quite similar. It's just the feeling of it that changes. But they're both excellent. 
So if it was 100 degrees out, maybe the OG. If it was hot, like super hot out, I'd be reaching for the lighter mouthfeel. If I'm sitting around a campfire on a September evening, I'd be reaching for this one. All right. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to give that a tie then. I, I think I'd have to as well. They yeah. both have their places to be. Excellent beer. This was, this was a good lineup. You, you chose well this year. Any way I can get the Oktoberfest nymph to come out, I'm doing it. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Lay out a bunch of beer, I'll be there. <laughs> Before you go, you aren't taking those beer, are you? You're not coming, you're gonna leave those beer, right? I'll see you next year.